sit in the ashram reception. Because everybody was trying to tell me, Swamiji, whenever we ask your people, they never connect you to us. We do not know how to talk to you. Many issues are there. We want to talk to you, see you, take your blessings, etc. So we fixed up 8 to 10 o'clock every day in the ashram reception instead of the cottage. So people who are walking on the road itself can see and then walk in. Today I was sitting in the reception and suddenly a bunch of children stopped the bicycles, they walked in and said, Oh, she is What a beautiful sight. When I looked at this sight, it was just happiness. The sight was the children coming in the bicycles because this year we gave bicycles to quite a lot of village children so that they can avoid coming to buses and they feel happy that they, they own a bicycle and they sit on the top of the bicycle and they stretch, they get exercise all this. Place. When I looked at the children and the happiness, it flashed back early morning. We got up rushing up to the kitchen. There was a group of kitchen members rushing up to clean up to make breakfast to the children. Then the hostel children will walk in. Then they do the bachin and bach and then they get, get the breakfast. Much before the animal one go rushes up to the ghost and the cows are fed, cows are cleaning, the milking is happen. Then the milk is brought to the reception, the milk is sold, balance goes to the kitchen. And then the school children arrives, and then the group of Narayan workers will go this side with Chandra Keshava, and on this side our transport department run on this side, the kitchen department and was well, so many. And then the degree students just arrived, they are rushing up to the pre primary school to make sure that the children are taken very good care. Ayas or not. There is a group activity. And then we got connected to the BMTC bus, bus conductor and drivers. They stopped the bus, they rushed up to have the breakfast so that they can take the children and drop the children. <laughs> Nobody is alone. It is a compound effect. You think you are alone. Nobody bothers, but you look around, so many people <laughs> are involved in taking care. Yes. Does the child is born, they tell you, a new uh, um, person is coming, a new gift is coming, God's gift is coming to a house and we are going to celebrate and then they wait till the child goes to school and the college. Children doesn't know that too many people are involved in one child's growth and that was the beauty. Well, joint family venture of our beautiful India, Fakir Altin Araki. Born 10th June 12, 13, Hamidon Ryan. Attained Samadhi on 30th November 1289, Damascus in Syria was a Persian Sufi poet of the 13th century. He is principally known for his mixed prose and poetry work, the Lama Divine Flashes, as well as the Divine Collection of Short Poems, which is mostly written in the form of a ghazal. Fakr al-Din Araki said, I saw my Lord with the eye of the Lord. I asked, who art thou? And he answered, thou. I couldn't sometimes touch this Sufi says. They break my head and my heart and I suddenly becomes a nobody such as the poetry. I was talking to Kavita Rani and a group of degree students who just returned. I was telling many people, I was very much interested in hypnotism. So I went to learn hypnotism in, to many people and everywhere I go, I challenge them to you cannot hypnotize me. One guy he took out the challenge and he hypnotized me. Oh, I was shocked, but I couldn't stay with him for a long time. Then one day, Archer, who was a Canada film actor and very close to Patambi Ramuriti, sir, we were very close to Patambi Ramuriti's family. And Acha's daughter, Rajleshmi, was my student. So Archer was with the Janata party. As a treasurer, so he was very close to uh, Shankar and uh, 
రఘుపతి రాఘవన్ స్పోర్ట్స్ కాన్ ఇచ్చాను జీవరాజ్ చంద్ర యూస్ టు టేక్ మీ టు విధానసభ మీ టు ఆల్ దిస్ పీపుల్ టు కండక్ట్ ద మేజర్ ఈవెంట్స్ ఐ యూస్ టు ఐ వాస్ ఇన్ టు ద ఈవెంట్స్ ఐ వాట్ సే వాట్ యూస్ నాన్ స్టాప్ ఇన్ టు ద ఈవెంట్స్ So one day Ajahn told me, I will introduce you to a musician. He took me to Jainagar to a musician's house. I saw the house was not very good. Uh, it's not kept me to the plane. And in the center of the hall, one man was sitting on the floor. I, I, I'm telling the truth, I did not like the man. He was looking like an ugly man. Big face, big body, ugly looking character. And Ajahn introducing so and so person came into her. Then he called daughter and one pretty girl walked inside and he introduced and he said get some coffee, we had coffee. And this guy was holding an instrument called and he called it a sitar. First time in my life I've seen a sitar. And he said Master Ji, that time they were calling me Master Ji, I'm going to play this uh, instrument. I looked at the ugly looking instrument, all around is ugly. What this man can do? play what to I don't like the house you know like man and he played that sitar and every one kind of moment he was in his body and the mood and for a second i forgot that i was also moving he hypnotized me i became a nobody yes only sitar was in me i was shocked i thought no one could hypnotize me his name was rajiv tarunath <laughs> and we were very good friends he was always tell me you can't do programs and come and play for you free of course you collect friends such was beauty of tarnaj rajiv tarna sitar the same as the sufi said he said i saw the lord the eye of the lord did you know i never thought that you can look at a pretty girl with the eye of the pretty girl you find you yourself is when you look at the nature you look with the eye of the nature and you are the nature a beautiful song for karalti araki said i saw my lord means i saw my lover i saw my lord i saw my god i saw my guru yes i saw means i i observed my lord the eye of the lord i just met it the thing and when i and he becomes one what a beauty when i spun looks into the eye of the wife but to the eyes of the wife and he becomes her and she becomes him oh what a beauty child our child is born in this world what a beautiful house which is called the heaven you told you have to visit heaven fakar alti nuraki knock me down no remember dad knock me down is not easy to knock me down but i listen and get knocked down like how rajiv tarana knock me down with this shit i couldn't believe rajiv tarana is a god in such a right now of course for uh, the drummer uh, sakirozin also was another one kick again i saw my lord fakar alti naradi so my lord with the eye of the lord please look to the eye with the eye of the question and answer flows why are the teachers not teaching the children that you take the question you become the question and, and look to the prism of the question and answer is thy name fakar alti naradi i saw my lord wow how can we see the with the eye of the lord you met when you see the mountain you went and you become the mountain and then say mountain gives way when you see the ocean you look with the eye of the ocean you look at the ocean and they say jesus says the ocean gives way mountains gives way yes you become the mountain which way it is that is the way that is the way of life called yoga the way of life Fakar Alti Narakis, I saw my Lord, the eye of the Lord, I can't believe what, <laughs> it shocks me that suddenly I met, I become a nobody, you can become a nobody, that's when you become in Bhagavad Gita, they say, you are not born, neither there is death in such a situation, where is birth and death?
and he continued to fakir all the night i saw my lord i of the lord i asked who are thou who are you and he answered you <laughs> i can who are you when you look from your wife that i of the eye of a wife when you look through that eye who are you you are the wife 